Hey there, this is Marissa with Marissa Moments Podcast, Healing While I Heal, where I share my real life stories and their healing translations. So let's just get straight into it. So today I went shopping. Now I know you guys, it probably sounds like I go shopping like every day, but there are a lot of us and we need to do something called eat. And seeing as how we are not quite yet self-sufficient in terms of farmland, yeah, we kind of have to depend on others for that, that sustenance that we need to survive and sustain, right? But anyway, I digress. Um, the thing of it is, is that there are so many just quirky moments that happen. I mean, I am a quirky person. And, and honestly, I didn't even realize that until I was like in my 20s and somebody made up a song or about me and was like, Marissa, the reason why I love you is you're so quirky. Now, I don't know if that's exactly how it went, but in my mind, that felt right. Anyway, let's focus. So today I'm at a store and it has one of those automatic doors, right? And it just does not open for me. I'm backing up, I'm moving forward, I'm going side to side and it does not budge at all. Now, (laughs) as a super side note, there was another person that was going in a little bit before me and I had noticed that the exact same thing happened to them. And I literally had a moment of judgment where I was like, who can't open an automatic door? Now, let's put a pin in that, right? Well, let's not. Let's address that right here and now. Because did I mention that I get God specs instantaneously? That is one of the lovely side effects of being what maybe, I don't know, you want to label a chosen one or whatever it is, is that I always say that I'm one of God's favorites and he does not let me get away with anything. So if I do something that is just slightly out of pocket, Oh, I'm going to reap what I sow instantaneously. So, I mean, after a while, I definitely have learned to try to be a little bit more mindful. But I do slip here and there because I'm human. At least I think so. Anyway, let's get back to the story. So I'm trying to get into this door. Does not open. Then I see a gent and he looks like he works there to me. He he looks like he's security. So I say, excuse me, do you work here? He doesn't say anything. I'm like, this door, you know, I'm still basically, I I was two seconds shy from doing the robot. Like I thought the door needed a whole performance before I could be allowed in. Like it was a VIP or something and I had to prove my worth, right? Anyway, I digress. This guy waves his hand once and ta-da, the door opens. And so (laughs) he says to me, flesh. I was like, huh? He said, flesh. It needs to see flesh. Now, mind you, it is cold. It is like 30 degrees. Who is showing flesh in freezing weather? Not me. That's who. So I had on a a poncho type over thing and a coat over that. I had the hood all the way on. I have a mask on. So the only thing that's exposed are my hands and my eyes. And my hands were busy pushing a cart. So anyway, flesh. And then I'm like, oh, okay. But then in hindsight, I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense because... Well, everybody's bundled up in the winter. So you mean to tell me it it differentiates between a moving object and actual flesh? But again, I digress. You don't need to go down that rabbit rabbit hole with me quite yet, unless you want to. I mean, yeah, you know, it's always up to for debate. Anyway, what's the healing translation behind that? And and maybe let me get to the point first before we get to the translation. (laughs) So I noticed that my voice was different. When I addressed him, because I also said I might be an alien. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's why the door didn't open. Who knows? Anyway, so as I was saying that, I was talking just like I am right now. Now, why is that such a weird thing to mention? Why is that such a, a, why is it noteworthy anyway? Well, let me tell you. It's because typically I wouldn't maintain this voice. I would somehow feel like I needed to become some sort of character in a role and adapt to whatever voice, whatever accent, whatever, whatever, what I deem necessary in that moment. And I've been more and more uh, tied to my authenticity that allows me to be more clear and, and stand upright when I express myself because the former voice was to make fun of myself. It was to belittle myself. It was to do anything and everything that I could do to diminish myself and make myself shrink smaller than what I am. Now, mind you, I am short in stature, 
but I am very tall in all other capabilities and, and standing when it comes to the universe. Now, was that an ego trip right there? I don't know, maybe, who knows? Boop. Sound effects. You guys, send donations, right? Because otherwise you're gonna keep getting those same sound effects. <laughs> See what I mean? Anywho, the bottom line to this bottom line is check yourself for those moments of authenticity. We all have our moments where we code switch. We all have those things. And it is a part of the healing process, whether you recognize it or not. Because at the end of the day, we're going to be accepted for who we are. And even more so, dare I say, the people don't know us in the first place. So why do we feel like we have to adapt to some unspoken notion or role that is floating in the ether for us to adapt to when in reality, we can just be who the heck we are? But it's all about confidence, right? It's all about being, I don't know, secure in self. But again, here I go talking in circles. So you know what? At the end of the day, all of these messages, all of these moments are, yes, they are mine, but feel free to translate them and pick up and put down whatever it is that you grasp from the message. Because it's not just a me thing. It's not just a you thing. It's a we thing. So it's about the collective at this point, not just the one. So anywho, that's it for now. So if this message resonates, then that's great. <laughs> I totally just forgot the line. And here we go. Take two. That was my clapboard. Anyway, <laughs> so if this message resonates, then that means it's for you. And if not, that's cool too. Just keep it pushing. Either way, I thank you for listening and I wish you the very best day ever. Until next time, you know the vibes. Peace. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to check me out on social media. I'm basically everywhere you probably shouldn't be. But when you look me up, just remember it is Marissa Moments. And that is Marissa with one S because there is only one me. And that's it for now. So until next time, happy healing.